come to you in the name of Jesus, yeah. our Lord and Savior. Thank you for this day. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity to come to church. Your yeah. place. Yeah. Your place. Yeah. And minister the word of God. I decrease right now. Yeah. That you may increase. Yeah. That the word that is engrafted yeah. may reach your people. As they open up their ears, open up their eyes, open up their mouths, open up their hearts, that they may hear your engrafted word that is able to change hearts, minds, and souls. I thank you for it, because it's not my word, it's yours. And it's all in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. You may be seated. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for this opportunity. Yes. Just thank you, pastors. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. I very much appreciate every opportunity Amen. I had to come yes. up and minister. Amen. This is all about God. It's not about Tracy. Amen. This is not Tracy's word. This is God's word. When he comes to me, he gives it to me in such a such a funny thing. <laughs> and when I'm saying, I'm going, God, are you sure you will get it? He says, before I even finish the question, yes. You do it exactly the way I told you. So I had to get online. And I had to order my smart. And I had to order my top. And I had to... Has to be brought the way that he wants it to be delivered. So I will stay obedient until the end, whichever way he wants me to do it, it's done. So one minute you may see me up here looking one way, the next minute I may be doing something else. But right now, whew, I love praise and worship this morning. It was the bomb. It was all the chain. Off the chain. Pastors, I want to thank you all. I tell you, it, it, it's such a good thing to give uh, the preaching word of God. It's not easy, I tell you. I tell you, because it does, it changes. It does. Some things I don't want to change. Sometimes I don't want to change. But the more he has me up here, and in here, I change. Because I can't be up here going, hallelujah. And, and, and as it is written, oh. the next thing I know, I go out the door, and I'm cussing somebody out. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. I'm at my house acting like a fool. Come on. Yeah. You understand? I'm at my job, yeah. disobeying, mm -hmm. yeah. doing my own thing. Yeah. So I know God's purpose for me. Amen. I know. But, and, I'm, and I'm so glad. Because the more I think about it, the more I understand. That word, right there, that, that book. Yes. It's meant to change people. Yes. It's meant to change me. Amen. Amen. So I keep reading. Yes. Yes. I keep going. Yes. I want to thank my wife back there in the corner. My wife. Yes. My wife. Beautiful. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. you so much. Thank you so much for marrying me. Amen. Mm. She's the biggest help I have in changing. Yes. After yes. this book. Yes. Oh, nah. yes. The right. biggest help I got. Yes. yes. So I thank you, my beautiful wife. And she did do a great job yesterday. I wasn't in there. I wanted to be in there. But yeah. She did a great job. And you got to understand that the enemy is after you. You know, especially when your husband's up here and, and, and the wife is doing other things yeah. for the women. Yeah. You got to understand that. Yeah. The enemy is after you. Yeah. After us. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody else for being here as well. Thank you guys so, so very, very much. Yes. All right. Woo! If you have your Bibles, remember, never come to church without your Bible. Because you never know. If you have your Bibles with you, let's read 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Everybody there? Amen. Amen. 
Alright, so, uh, first Corinthians 2 and 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Mm -hmm. Alright, good word. Good word. You don't have a clue what God got for you, but I tell you what, it's good. Uh, come on. What God got you for you yeah. is better than what you got for you. I don't care where you're talking about. I don't care how you think. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you God's got something better for you than you do. I guarantee it. It happens to me all the time. My idea gets me mediocre. God's idea gets me elevated from mediocre. Mm. The title of this message is called Blank Canvas. You see what I mean in a minute. Picture this. You're walking through the woods. It's a beautiful day. Sunshine, blue skies, light, winds, birds chirping. And then you come to a clearing where you see a big old oak tree that looks like it's been there forever. And it's, situ and it's situated next to a stream flowing ever so quiet. With the sun just glistening right off the top of it. Just glistening right off the top of it. And the water is so clear you can see the fish, the frogs, the turtles swimming under the water. You feel like this is the best place for you to be. So you sit down, lean up next to the tree, and relax. Now, wouldn't you just love to have your life running that way every day? But that would be just a picture of your mind, right? Wrong. God is going to show you in his word, in this book, that your life can turn out just like that on a daily basis. But there is a catch. So we got God. He's got a catch. God has to be the one painting the picture. God has to paint the picture. Not me, not you, not your boss, not your mama, not your dad. God has to paint a picture. <laughs> I got this paper on my wall in my closet. I look at every morning before, before I get started getting ready to go to work. And it reads, it's good morning. This is God. I will be handling all of your problems today. Mm -hmm. I will not need your help. Mm. So have a nice day. Mm. Wow. Mm. I got that picture hanging up on top of my dresser. Every single day I get a chance to look at it. And that is pretty much how God wants you to come to you. Look, you know, after I get off my knees, and, and, and from that point on, God wants me to give him his day. He wants me to, he, he just wants me to let him take care of me. Always want me to take care of that. Mm. All the time. As a Christian, I have to remember that God's sole purpose is to show me that he can and will take care of me. And all I need to do is trust him mm -hmm. to do what he said he's going to do. Yeah. Just trust him. Yeah. The purpose of playing canvas is to help us come to God just like that. Mm -hmm. A blank piece of paper. Blank. Like this. Blank. Come to God. So he can write, draw, paint, sculpt, conduct, build my life. Mm -hmm. And yours. One day at a time. So you get ready to go to the other side. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't plan your day. But what it does mean is if you turn around and look and God has erased it, don't get mad. Mm -hmm. Come on, oh. Like I said before, if he's doing it, your plan may be one thing, but he is definitely going to be better. better. Yeah. And when you come to God, you got to come to him the way you came out your mother's womb. But naked. Yeah, but fall naked, that's what it is. 
And that's how God wants you to come to him. Just like that. And just like this blank is Amen. All right. Let's get busy. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah 29 and 11. To give you an expected end. Yeah. Wow. Now that right there sounds like the beginning of a beautiful day. The start of a beautiful day. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off a beautiful day. First thing. First thing he usually starts off with is what? Light. Sunshine. That's usually what he starts off with first. Light. Not only light that you can see by, but the light that's in your heart. Light that's in your heart. So you can praise him. Whether things are going good or bad. Start your day off. Yeah. Life. Thank you, Jesus. An expected end. Yeah. Remember, yeah. expected end. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Mm -hmm. He does. Mm -hmm. So remember, an expected yeah. end. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 1 and 19. Thank you. 
All right. Now, Exodus 15 said, and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought among the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Wow, look, look. This is talking about giving it all to God. All of it. <laughs> now, for those of you that remember, I did the Bunny Light Cake uh, a couple of sermons ago. And I talked about pouring everything that you got into God, everything you got. Yes. I mean, everything, all your past hurts, your anger, your resentments, your bad health, yes. your resentments, your addictions, your inadequacies, your insecurities, all of it, all of it. Yes. He can take it. And then pull back into you. Perfect health and restoration. Mm. Yeah. Just, ooh, just great. And I'm going to use Now, 
One of two things can happen. One of two. Either you realize that he's calling the shots, right. or you realize that you're calling the shots, and you could wind up being the, the recipient of what's hanging on his side if you're not willing to be here to what he says. That's why he has that the gun on his side. That's why he has that for those that are not willing and obedient. For those that are breaking the law. For those that don't do what he says. That's God. Pretty much. He ain't going to shoot you though. God kind of likes to let you just go on and do your thing. And let you shoot yourself. And he does that. He, he, I don't know how many lumps I got on my I don't know how many lumps I got on my head because I wasn't with him. I don't know about y'all, but I was telling you, I got some lumps on my head, man, that I wish I got shot over instead of just getting that lump on my head. I'm telling you. But then right after that, he says, and whatsoever he doing, he will prosper. Whatsoever. So after I delight and stay willing and obedient, whatever, whatsoever I do, I can prosper. I mean, that's what I do. I put my hands on an internet business, I put my hands on a brick and mortar business, or I can put my hands on my job, I can go back to school. Whatever I feel like I want to do, once I delight in his law, whatsoever I do will prosper. He said it. It's right there. Yeah. It's, right. it's right there. Yeah. Whatever I feel like I want to do. Yeah. And of course, according to this program, you got to make sure that it's going it, to it, line up. Because yeah. the biggest part of his will is just to be obedient. Yeah. Yeah. That's the biggest part of his will. Yeah. And he got a couple of little underlaws in there too. So read your Bible. Find out what Let's go to Psalm 37 and 23. I don't get tired. I don't get tired. I've 
bear a whole universe, so don't worry about you. Day, 
Elomia. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. All day. Elomia. Yeah. All day. And if I ain't recognizing, I'm being what? Taking him for granted. Yeah. Like I deserve something. Mm -hmm. Like you need to give me that. That is not how God operates. God gives it to me because he is grace, mercy, good, all of that. I'm the one that's the sinner. I'm the one that thinks of myself. I'm the prideful one. I'm the egotistical one. Selfish and self-absorbed. That's who I am. But God in his grace and his mercy. Let me pick him up anyway. At some point. Because at some point, he's going to still have to come to me. One way or the other, he's going to still have to come to me. No matter what. Boy, I tell you. He, he, he good. He, he, he's a good set of arms, too. I'm going to say you like that. Hey, you know how to set you up? You know how to set you up? Big time. Come on, man. Bring it through your whole life. Make you think you did something. Come on, man. Come on. Then bring it to him, and then you find out that whole time it was him. Come on. The whole time it was God. Yeah. And then I'm going, hmm? are you kidding me? I thought that was me. Mm. That wasn't me. Mm. That was God. Yeah.